Ladies and gentlemen, no matter how impressive you are, I can guarantee you that you are the sum of the five people that you spend the most time with. In other words, your network is your net worth. My number one piece of advice for you that will ultimately give you the highest ROI and the most success is to A, define where you want to be, B, define who that person looks like, and C, define where that person hangs out. Be there. Be where that person hangs out. Meet these people. Find ways to provide value. And to my brothers and sisters that are listening to this show that are worth $5 million, $10 million, $20 million and up, same advice. The same advice. Isn't that the craziest thing, ladies and gentlemen, is all of these people that I'm friends with that are worth $20 million are doing the same exact thing. The only difference is at that level, those people get more difficult to find and get more difficult to get access to. So what game are we playing? There's two, actually. Game number one is how do I get into that freaking room with the people that I want to be? Game number two is how do I stand out while I'm in that room? What can I do? What technique can I use? What priming routine can I do to be the most interesting person in that room so that people remember who I am and they will actually want to help me because who am I in comparison to them, right? So how do you provide value in a networking situation to where people want to pour value back into you, right? And that's the subject of today's show. So how am I qualified to give you guys advice on networking, right? Well, for people that know me and people that have been following the show, they're laughing right now because they know this is my freaking jam. But for people that are new, of which there are a lot of you, welcome. My name is Brian Lubin, and now you see this life that I'm living where I'm traveling around the world, but rewind the clock back three, four years, back to when I was 23, 24 years old, and I was working my W-2, and I was making a lot of money, but I looked at my balance sheet and I realized I was worthless. I had no assets, no savings, no nothing. Big old fat goose egg on the balance sheet. So what did I do? Did I just roll over and say, oh my God. Oh my God. Just no, I took action. That's why we have the Action Academy podcast, people. I heard about this group, Go Abundance through a Bigger Pockets podcast where it is a millionaire mastermind. You have to be a millionaire accredited investor to even apply to the group. And I said, wow, that's not me. I should apply. I should find a way to get in. <laughs> and that I did. I sent a couple cold emails. Uh, long story short, got in touch with David Osborne. If you guys have not heard that story, go back to the episode, $100 million advice on health, wealth, and self. You can listen to the whole story there. But long story short, I got an invitation to a Go Abundance event. So little old me finds myself walking around a room with 375 multi-multi-millionaires. How the hell did I stand out in that room as a 23-year-old kid with nothing in a room like that? Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to give you the number one technique that is proven 100% guaranteed to make you the most liked, trusted, and poured into person in any networking event or room that you go to. Here is the tip. If you are driving, feel free to pause this in a second. If you are not, please write this down in your phone, notes, wherever have you. The number one technique to be the most interesting person in the room, no matter what room that you're in, is to stop focusing on being the most interesting person and instead focus on being the most interested person in the room. Boom, baby. How about that? That is a truth bomb, my friends. There are far too many books, blogs, posts, and articles talking about networking techniques, about how physical touch or name repetition or all these different weird hacks and tricks for human connection. But simply, if you just shut up and ask people about them, genuinely, You do not need to go. I don't care if you've done 800 units of syndication. I don't care if you own 500 mobile home units or whatever have you. If you just go up to people, shake their hand, and just have a genuine interest. If you keep asking questions about them, 
and just listen and stay engaged in the conversation because you genuinely care to know and learn, they will remember you guaranteed over every other person that tried to pitch them about how awesome they are. Does that make sense? People don't remember genuinely what you say, but they do remember how you make them feel, especially in the closing of the conversation. So in the last five, 10 minutes, as you're about to exit, that is especially the sticking point that will make you memorable or just another person that they just met out of the 100, 200 people that are at that event that you're at. As humans, we do this crazy thing to where when people are talking, we are so focused subconsciously on what we are about to say in response to what they're saying that we can't even fully process what the heck they're saying. And that's most normal conversations. So most normal conversations are so disengaged because everyone's just trying to think about how am I going to reply to that? How am I going to reply to this? And it's just this weird dance that goes back and forth. So this has been huge for me because I've been on both sides of this spectrum before in sales conferences. We would all walk around banging our chests and say, I've got this many president's clubs. I got this many diamond levels like it was impressive. And now that I've flip flopped and I'm on the other end of this spectrum, not only did I make a lot of friends while I was at that conference, but then for some reason, they just kept inviting me back and inviting me back. And then eventually, one day, I started a podcast. When I started this podcast, then out of the blue, I had 300, 400, 500, like a thousand people reaching out to me to come on my podcast. Why was that? Because I cared about them and I was genuinely interested in them. And now my entire day and every day of this freaking week, every week, I get to ask awesome people questions about them and post it to you guys for value. Like what a dream I'm living. Like this is my personal heaven. And that's why I care about this show so much, because for people that are doing this casually, that's okay. There's a lot of casual podcasts out there, but for me, This is my life's passion, and that's why it's so important to me to grow this show. So if you guys can help me do that, it would be greatly appreciated. How can you help? Send this episode, send this show to maybe two people that you know that you think could really benefit from this. Post it to social media. Leave me a five-star rating and a review. These are the three ways that you can genuinely help grow this show. In closing, remember the quote, don't be the most interesting person in the room. Be the most interested. Let me know how that works for you. I'm curious to know. Shoot me a message on Instagram at Brian Lubin. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go have an amazing weekend and I will talk to you as always on Monday. Thank you.